Here are five orchestral scores I would recommend you study so you can continue growing as a composer and an orchestrator. Let's get into it. First is the Overture to a Midsummer Night's Dream by Felix Mendelssohn. This piece feels a little classical, a little romantic, and is a great starting point to start studying larger, more modern scores. It's written very well with a lot of cool dramatic moments that you can learn a lot from. Its form is basic enough that you can see how he develops all of his motifs and his themes throughout the course of the entire overture. Mendelssohn demonstrates a lot of his compositional technique very well through this overture, and he was only 17 when he wrote it. I know. By the way, if you're just starting out and some of these scores on this list feel a little overwhelming to you, then go ahead and check out my previous video on the five scores that you should check out if you're just starting out as a composer or orchestrator. These scores I'm talking about now are basically next steps to those scores. Next up is Tchaikovsky's Symphony No. 6. This is a score I first looked at with my first private lesson with my teacher, Bruce Brunton who showed me a few pages from this symphony to demonstrate a few ideas. He showed me how Tchaikovsky puts together his four-part writing. Like in this section in the fourth movement, there are only four lines, but Tchaikovsky puts it in octaves and balances it with a few instruments in the orchestra and eventually builds this line further as the motif continues on through the next several pages. I've since checked out the entire symphony from beginning to end to varying degrees of analysis. But there are so many moments from the symphony that I've taken a lot from, and I think you'll be able to take a lot out of it too. Okay, this next one is a little bit different, but it's a piece that I really like, and this is Rachmaninoff's Isle of the Dead. This isn't on a lot of lists of these kinds, because there are other great scores that you can look at as well. But I threw this one on the list because I actually studied this one before I started writing the second movement to my symphony, Theseus and the Minotaur, which you can go check out, and I suggest that you do. But the second movement is very murky and dark, and I studied this piece to kind of get the sense for the style that I was trying to go for, and I learned a lot from looking at this piece. Rachmaninoff writes a almost dreadful sounding, marching to your death type of score that I think a lot of people would also want to know how to do. So go and check out Isle of the Dead by Rachmaninoff. I think it's a good one to look at. Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker Suite is an essential read. Everyone knows the music to this ballet, but each part of the suite has its own distinct characteristic that you can learn a ton from. His writing is effective and his orchestration is practical and quite creative as well. It's very iconic, so I'm not saying to steal everything from this piece of music, but there are so many great things that you can pull from this suite, and I highly, highly suggest that you look through it and really analyze it. Lastly is The Sorcerer's Apprentice by Paul Duca. This piece feels like a continuation of the fun style of the Nutcracker, but with a bit more modern harmony and orchestration that was starting to emerge at the time. It's full of so much color, life, and energy that's very cool to get a grasp on to be able to do with an orchestra. This might be a bit of a harder one to follow. I know my brain exploded when I first saw this score, but get some practice reading all the scores on this list and the previous list so that you can get more comfortable reading larger and larger, more complex scores. By the way, if you're interested in score studying with me, consider joining my Patreon where I hold live score study sessions every single month for both sketch and score level tiers so you can get either one that you want and you'll have access to that. Okay, that's all I've got for now. Subscribe so you don't miss the next five scores that I suggest studying next. So until next time, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Ernesto Composer. You can visit my Patreon at patreon.com slash Ernesto Composer where you can get access to templates score study versions of my own published works, score study Sunday hangouts every single month, and more goodies, you can visit my website at ernestacomposer.com. Thanks so very much for watching, and as always, take care.